All right, real quick, I wanted to go over how to check the fuel pressure on a Toyota 22RE engine. These engines don't have a Schrader valve anywhere on the fuel rail. Uh, a lot of fuel injected motors will have a Schrader valve somewhere to hook a pressure regulator up to, or a pressure gauge to, to check the pressure. This one, what I found the best place to check the pressure at is where the cold start injector connects to the fuel system on this engine move this rag out of the way so see down in here so the fuel rail on this engine is down between the intake manifold and the valve cover it's down under there and the fuel rail is pressurized when the fuel pump is running and that delivers fuel pressure to all of the injectors uh, this injector up here is a cold start injector that you know is activated under cold conditions to help the engine run when it's really cold out and this injector is held in place with a, a banjo style bolt. This is the bolt that I took out of here. There's a there's a hole in the middle of that bolt for fuel to flow through. That's what holds this cold start injector on there. So that's the best place to tap into to check the fuel pressure on this engine. So what you'll need is a banjo bolt adapter, which is what this piece is. It's it's right it's screwed on right here. So that is threaded in in place of that bolt that holds that on there. And if you have a fuel pressure gauge with a bunch of different adapters, you'll need, you'll need one that is an M8 by 1 thread, and that will thread in there and use these copper washers in between to make sure the fuel doesn't leak. And you snug that down, and then you'll be able to screw on the normal fitting that runs to your fuel pressure gauge. So I've got my gauge connected over here. All that's connected. Uh, and then you'll be able to check your pressure under different conditions. On this engine, the fuel pressure regulator is located at the back side of the fuel rail. And let me climb up here and see if I can get to it. Okay. Fuel pressure regulator is back here, and there's a vacuum hose that runs to that fuel pressure regulator. And with this, this vacuum hose, normally it pulls a vacuum when the engine's running, so that will reduce the fuel pressure when it's at idle speed. And as you open the throttle plate and go to higher RPMs, that vacuum is reduced and so the fuel pressure goes up. So there's specifications depending on what year your engine is for what the fuel pressure should be with and without vacuum. The easiest way to check your pressure without vacuum going to that regulator is once you have everything hooked up make sure everything's snug so there's no fuel leaks and when I'm connecting all this stuff I like to put a couple of rags underneath of here in case there's any fuel drips so when you turn the ignition to the on position in your vehicle that's gonna power up the fuel pump and the fuel pump will be running and there will be fuel pressure in the system you'll be able to see what that is without starting the engine. So I'm going to do that first. Okay. The ignition is in the on position and you can actually you can hear the fuel pump running, the fuel pump in the gas tank. You can hear the whine of the fuel pump motor running so you know your fuel pump is running. And now we can see what our pressure reading is on the gauge and we're reading about 36 or 37 psi on this gauge. That, so that's what our pressure is with the fuel pump running and no vacuum being pulled on that fuel pressure regulator. So now I'm going to start the engine and you'll see this pressure change. Alright, so now with the engine running fuel pressure is around 26 or 27 psi and that's because there's vacuum being applied to that fuel pressure regulator and that reduces the fuel pressure at idle speed and when you raise the RPM up the fuel pressure should also go up with that RPM. Watch the gauge when I bring it up. Sounds nasty doesn't it? Alright fuel pressure went up and we shut this off. Yeah, she's a little bit noisy. Okay, so our fuel pressure is within spec at idle speed with that 
pressure regulator and I know the regulator is working, the vacuum actuator is working because the pressure goes up as it should when the throttle opens up. Uh, so whatever year your vehicle is, you need to look up the specifications for what that pressure is at idle and what that pressure is uh, with, with and without vacuum to your pressure regulator and that way you'll know if you have a fueling issue, if you have a bad fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter or something like that. Check your fuel pr pressure, you can eliminate those if you're trying to troubleshoot an issue with your truck. Alright, well I hope some of that info was helpful for how to do that on a 22RE engine.